So I currently have an HTC HD2, but it has a very fast processor and a lot of memory. And I also have uh, my older HTC TYTN2 uh, running Windows Mobile. The TYTN2 um, is a bit older, smaller, and uh, not as powerful. Running Windows Mobile um, kind of doesn't give you the best performance. So I am going to try to run the Android operating system. Now, if you Google Android and HTC, or just go to androidandhtc.com, like it says right there, um, you'll actually get to a web page that talks about running the Android operating system on HTC phone. And that actually includes the TYTN2 that I have. Now, the information on this web page, by the time you look at it, uh, might be outdated than what you see in the video. So always check the web page. Don't just go by what you see in my video here. Now, an even more up-to-date place might be the XDA developers page. You can actually go there. So here we have wiki xdadevelopers.com and you might be able to find or search for information or find your phone in this list matrix. Now what I'm going to do is following the instructions for the TYTN2 right there. I'm going to download the appropriate files and install this onto my phone. Now there's two ways to do that. One way on the TYTN2 or the Kaiser um, is to boot this up into Windows Mobile and then run another program to reboot this machine into the Android operating system. Now what that will do is it'll keep your um, original Windows Mobile ROM intact. The second way to do that would be to completely flash the device thereby destroying the Windows Mobile and actually that sounds like a good idea but I'm gonna do both so um, this video is probably gonna be um, booting the secondary OS into Android and then I'll make another video um, that actually flashes the whole device. Now, I've already installed, I mean, I've already downloaded the files I need. I put them in this folder. Now you may not need all these files. I'm going to try this Polymod 2.1, uh, no actually I'm sorry, I'm going to try this Polymod 2.1 dark theme here. It actually, if I open this up, shows you that the, oops, <laughs> I didn't need that. There's an Android install TGZ. I'm going to unzip that and put that in the appropriate folders according to the instructions on that web page. So once again, you need to go to the web page. Um, I've already pre-made the folder I need. It's called and boot, and it contains that Android install TGZ file, a default text that's been customized for my settings, and um, most of the customizations have already been set in the text file. Here's the program that's used to launch or boot into Android, and some other files that is are necessary for the boot process for the uh, Linux OS. Now, all this has been put inside this folder, and there's also a folder called Android Apps. These are optional applications that if I have this folder in there, when I install my Android operating system, these applications should be installed with it. Now, all I'm going to do is go into my TYTN's storage card, which already has some other things in there, like DSIM for my, you know, photo photographs for my camera. And I'm gonna take these two files, and I'm going to copy them over once there, 
I'm gonna go to my phone and boot up Android. Uh, once the AND boot folder is finished copied to the uh, flash drive, um, I'm going to go over to the phone itself and I'm actually gonna unplug the USB cable. Um, I found that that actually causes problems. Now I'm going to go to the file explorer uh, there we go. And actually I should use the stylus here. I'm getting too used to the HD2. And I'm going to look at the storage card. And there is the Android apps folder and the and boot folder. So it did copy over okay. Now before doing this next step, I'd like to make sure that if anyone else tries this, make sure you don't have um, a SIM lock. Um, as, as it is right now, the version of Android that works on these phones don't actually recognize um, most uh, SIM card lock codes. So if you want to test this, you will probably have to put your SIM card into another phone, remove the lock code on the SIM card. That's not the phone lock code, but the SIM card lock code, and then test this out. Now, I don't have a SIM card in here yet. I'm going to put that in later, so you might see an error um, if I boot up the phone. But what I'm going to show you right now is how to actually execute the program. I went into the and boot folder and there is a H-A-R-E-T, Harret file. That actually is what's going to boot up the Android operating system. It's going to use the default text, that's the text file that has the settings I showed you earlier. If you don't have it called default text, you can type something else in here, but default is default. Um, it found the machine, the Kaiser, and well, I'm going to hit run. Now one thing to be careful about is when you hit run, things are going to flash by on the screen. And since this is the first time installed, I'm going to have to look at the instructions on the screen very carefully as they flash by because there are some things you might have to type. So I'm going to hit run. It says booting Linux. Hold down the D-pad button right there. And there we go. It says, welcome to the Android installer. I'm going to hit OK there. And I don't know if you can read that, but uh, it's highlighted install system. I'm going to move this up and down so you can see what it says there. Now since this is the first time install, I'm going to do number one. So I'm going to choose install system, push the deep. This will wipe your existing system, are you sure? I'm going to arrow to the left to choose yes, push the d-pad button, and it's going to scroll through a lot of different things, and uh, some of them may be errors. Don't worry about that, those will pass and your system will still boot. It has to format and prepare the system image file. That might take a while, so make sure you have a full battery and just walk away for 15 minutes or so. Now, it's still installing, but I just thought I'd show you what the screen scrolling by looks like. It's still formatting the system and pairing the image. Now, if you want, you can watch it. Uh, when it's done, it might look like the system is frozen. Whatever you do, don't reset the system after that. Just let it finish. Okay, we're at a point where it actually says Android installed and the screen just went dark. So you can see that I'm back at the same menu as before. Now, since we just did the installation, we don't actually need to do anything else. We don't need to back up or fix anything. Um, I am just going to um, hit quit. Push the D-pad button, quit. Now, it'll, this is where it'll look like it's just frozen. Um, just leave this alone in a few minutes, five minutes, um, it'll actually just boot up to Android the first time. Okay, it's about two minutes later. We didn't touch the phone, we just let it do whatever it was doing, and now it looks like it's booting up. This also might take a little longer this first time. Once again, <laughs> just let it go. Touch the Android to begin. I'm going to touch the Android. 